Okay, everybody in Washington thinks the following two things. Republicans are going to keep the House, and the Senate is seriously up for grabs. It is up for grabs. And actually, Republicans can take the Senate. There's a very good chance now that they have expanded the percentage, percentage, percentage chance. Percentage chance the Republicans yeah. take the Senate. I would say about 40% right now. That's bold. Which is, that is, that's which aggressive. Is, two that months ago, aggressive. you wouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said that. But still, they could mess it up. They have primary problems. How does your problems. forecast compare with Nate Silver's forecast? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably less mathematical, that's for sure. But I would say, look at what's happening now. They have a chance in Michigan, where I was just at. There was just in, they have a chance in Iowa. They also have a chance in New Hampshire if Scott Brown gets in. The battleground has expanded, but there are problems in their primaries, and they could blow it okay, very we, easily. We see that over and over again, right? The last couple of cycles, they've really struggled in terms of these kind of primary states. You see that in Georgia potentially happening. Other words, where you, you could have a kind of Todd Aiken moment, and that just kind of takes the whole wind out of their sails. They and dream, and the Democrats last, dream that Paul Brown will win that primary. Yeah. And they may get what they want. And the last couple of cycles, you, you've had this sort of sense that th these are sort of isolated screw-ups by the Republican Party. How did we nominate Todd Aiken? How did we nominate Richard Murdoch? At some point, you have to wonder if it's a structural thing, right? That's right. And where the power actually lies in the party. These are the people who actually excite the base. When you have middle-of-the-road candidates, people who have presumably seen more electable, they may not bring out those voters to the polls. And you have these rich folks who are trying to pour money into the races, but these guys don't really know what they're doing either. No, and it's, a, it's not a kind of a concentrated campaign at all.